Prince of Hearts. Harry leaves a group of teenage girls swooning as he charmingly chats to them about deep dish pizza during a surprise visit to a Chicago school with Michelle Obama. Prince Harry appeared to have captured quite a few hearts while discussing the merits of deep dish versus thin crust pizza with a group of students in Chicago this week. The 33-year-old British royal found himself with quite the fan club when he and former First Lady Michelle Obama surprised students at Hyde Park Academy in the city's south side on Tuesday as evidenced in a fun video taken during their visit and shared by his office and Kensington Palace on Thursday afternoon. Unsurprisingly, a number of the teenage girls quickly flocked to Harry, with one female student in particular urging him to indulge in the city's famous Chicago-style pizza while he was in town. When Prince Harry's here, he eats Chicago makes sure he has a pizza, she says in the clip. I had pizza last night. I don't even eat pizza anymore, but I had pizza last night, he replies, prompting one of the girls to then ask if he had deep dish Chicago's own famous style of pizza. We had deep dish and we had thin crust, he says. I promise you, I will make sure I eat Chicago. Prince Harry's charming response to the great pizza debate elicited a fair few giggles from the young ladies and he appeared to be at ease while chatting with the students. The philanthropist looked dapper in a blazer, trousers, and a button-down shirt that he left open at the collar, and he casually leaned on a bookshelf with one hand on his hip during their conversation. Prince Harry's girlfriend Meghan Markle also has ties to Chicago. Although she grew up in Los Angeles, she is a 2003 graduate of Northwestern University, which is near the city. It is not known whether Harry plans to travel to Toronto to pay a visit to Meghan when he leaves Chicago, however it is believed that his TV star girlfriend did not join him on this particular trip, despite being by his side during the Invictus Games back in September. But Harry wasn't the only one with a fan club at the school. The former first lady also proved herself to be quite the popular visitor among students as well. Hyde Park Academy is located across the street from the future site of the Obama Presidential Center, and the former First Lady reminded the students that she grew up in the same neighborhood. All of you kids, you are me. I was you, she is seen telling them in the video. I grew up in the same neighborhood, so I know what you are capable of. Because when you look at me, you should see yourselves. Mrs. Obama looked as stylish as ever in a cowl neck blouse and plaid dress pants, which she paired with teal suede pumps. While she and Harry mingled with the students, Mrs. Obama gave one female student a high five before holding her hands. She also doled out a few hugs, and she was seen leaning over to give one lucky teen a warm embrace one of the same young girls who was also seen eagerly chatting away to Prince Harry about his pizza preferences. When they first walked into the library, the students were sitting in a circle and many of them threw their hands over their mouths in shock. However, they immediately put them at ease. The warm and wide-ranging conversation, lasting over an hour, covered how the Obama Presidential Center will showcase the south side of Chicago for a global audience, the importance of young people staying inspired and hopeful, and the transformative power of students using their voices to change the world. Caroline Adler Morales, Mrs. Obama's communications director, said in a statement, Later that day, Prince Harry sat in the audience at the first Obama Foundation Summit before joining businesswoman Melody Hobson on stage to hold a conversation about the ways young people can help drive community engagement. While he addressed the roughly 500 young civic leaders and community activists chosen from 20,000 applicants from around the world, Prince Harry stated that the younger generation has turned him into an optimist. We have to listen to the younger generation because they are the cure of some of the world's biggest problems, he explained. Harry also spoke of his late mother, Princess Diana, and weighed in on why he thought she was referred to as the People's Princess. I think she had a lot in common with everybody but also she certainly listened in a very, very short space of time, he said. 
In society we suffer from this illusion or this reality where some problems get so big that nobody wants to get involved. She was the one that changed that. He added, I will always look up to her as being my ideal role model. The two-day summit ended on Wednesday, and the next day, former President Barack Obama was in New York City. The 56-year-old was photographed leaving the Mandarin Oriental Hotel flanked by a Secret Service convoy. While heading out, Obama stopped to greet onlookers who stopped to see who was coming out of the hotel. The former president was wearing a navy suit with a blue striped tie, and he smiled when someone stopped to take his photo. Obama eventually made his way to a silver souvenir and was seen sitting in the back seat while waiting in traffic.